Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Satilla and this is Masterpiece. So if you look through my channel, you will find many different style of projects that I usually turn. But when I am serious about turning, I make pieces like this. So since I started my channel, I already made two of these and these are very similar in style. So basically, that's my idea. I am going to make a series out of this style. I already have the design, it's in the workshop. When we go downstairs, I'm going to show it to you. But today, we are going to start working on my Live Edge Pierced Collection. Sawdust everywhere! <laughs> Mustard piece. So I made the piece into a cylinder, now I am going to start shaping it, but oh, first let me show you the design. So here is the design. So here is how I use reference photos. So basically I just grabbed a piece of foam, I hot glued it to the wall and I use pins to put my design there so I can see every time when I turn. Okay, let's start shaping it. So basically I have two different methods to design wood turning pieces and one method involves me sitting down with a piece of paper and basically actively try to play with the shapes and hope I can come up with something good. Sometimes it is quick, sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it even takes several days. And the other method is when I go to bed and basically just lying on the bed trying to fall asleep and try to think about shapes and ideas. And yesterday, interestingly enough, I went to bed, tried to fall asleep and immediately like three pretty good ideas just came to mind. I literally have to get out of the bed and draw them on a piece of paper otherwise I'm going to forget them so hopefully some really nice projects coming up. I am going to start working on the inside because we don't want to make it thin. If it's too thin here it's going to break. It is important to run the grain this way. So this is maple burr. So the wood grain is literally everywhere, so it should be fairly strong. So this is a 2.5 4 snare bit. That's how you're supposed to do it. Learn it on a free wood turning session.
So when I design and when I turn, I have rules in my head. And my rule is if I'm working with a live edge, the live edge cannot be thicker than half a centimeter. So this is my rule, this is my preference, you don't have to follow it, but my pieces are usually balanced, delicate. So if I have anything larger or thicker than half a centimeter and it is live edge, then it looks terrible. I would love to go a little bit more in here, make it a little bit more curved, but the wall thickness is like half a centimeter already. I'm afraid of breaking it and then I will have nothing. Okay, sending sealer time. Okay, looks good. I'm going to send it back a little bit, then take it off and probably finish it with clear locker. So now, the ring. I have many of these lying around from previous project, so I'm not going to make a new one. But I'm going to put in a small montage from previous project, and you can see generally how I make these. Do you still remember the plan? These rings. So in this small montage you might see me use useless tools like this that literally drives me crazy and destroying half of my product that I am producing. But if you really want to know how I do this in detail just go back to my previous video because this style is very much in my arsenal. I use a lot of these rings in my previous project, so just go pick one and you will see how I make these. Okay, I'm going to put some exotic wood in it. If you remember, I used this piece in the designing video and I have a little bit of left. So I'm going to do the base from this one and I have another piece and I'm going to make the ball out of that and uh, quick tip, I numbered the jaws so I can put it back anytime and it's going to be true. So I'm not going to waste anything from this. Okay, let's, let's do that.
don't have a lot from this so I'm going to use my small air chuck So I have finished all the components. Do you still remember the plan? So this ring goes through the wall on the top and the bottom. And the ball should go somewhere here. I have actually realized a long time ago when I make a design I should make at least three of them because every time I do a piece I learn so much from it and the next piece would be much better and the third piece would be even better so if this wood turning competition that I announced like six months ago finally opens up because of this COVID-19 situation I'm probably going to make like three of the same pieces and just take the best one but unfortunately that competition is not going to be open this year because of the COVID devastated Okay, one side is done, going to do the other side, should be a little bit off center, hopefully these two will connect. other one will connect here so it's fairly easy I'm getting better at this
So here is the piece. I'm going to put up a nice uh, finer shot as I normally do, but it just it just doesn't pop. I messed up the shape because that should curve in. Because I messed up the shape, it just doesn't it just doesn't pop. The idea is really good, but the execution was a little bit off, to be honest. It's all right, but it's not going to go into my collection. So let me show you the final shot. Mustard piece. So giveaway winner will be announced on Sunday in a separate video, so you still can enter today, but not tomorrow. See ya!